Last week, uh, Rob Standridge, who is, I believe, finally term limited, so I think this is his last hurrah, and of course he's going to go out with a bang, uh, filed a bill criminalizing homeless camps, a move local advocates call disgusting. Um, So, yeah, Norman Transcript uh, had some good coverage of this, talking to a lot of folks in the community. You know, Norman, like every town, also has a, a problem with people who are unhoused, and you know they're struggling with it like everyone else you know we are we are slowly but surely like crawling our way to giving people homes that do not have them but until we get there uh we're going to continue to take two steps forward and one step back um and so standridge just wants to criminalize it um so senate bill 1381 would, would require municipalities to conduct inspections on homeless encampments to ensure they meet, quote, building codes established by the Oklahoma Uniform Building Code Commission. If they do not meet the code 30 days after inspection, the the municipality must, quote, abolish the camp. So again, using that, trying to (laughs) co-opt the language of Can we abolish the municipality? Like, (laughs) fuck (laughs) abolishing the camp. (laughs) Abolish Rob Standridge. Bruh. Um, I mean, you know, like, one, like, newsflash, like, it's probably pretty much illegal to build a homeless camp anywhere anyway, Um, so clearly making it illegal to have people unhoused is not working. Um, And just, two, like, I mean, his, and I tweeted something about him being Catholic, and I guess maybe he's not, who who knows, who who knows, (laughs) I deleted it, because I, somebody told me that he's not, because his bio says he has some evangelical church. But I do know for a fact his kids go to, have gone to Catholic school and are, anyway, very tied in with the Catholic community through the education system. And I'm just like, I don't know. Like, what are you doing? Like, what Jesus are you following that says to just demo homeless camps? I just don't get it. Like, what, who is telling you this shit? Like, other than just, like, the most hateful, petty part of your psychotic brain like i just don't bro really it is literally this. white supremacy that is it it is the perpetuation of white supremacy to criminalize the poor like that fuck that's all our criminal justice system does is criminalize the poor so i'm not at all shocked rob standridge and he knows this is another one of those people i would love to catch in the walmart parking lot because you do dumb shit like this like who is this going to help how is this going to help anyone like and and just to like i mean there are tons of nonprofits, catholic charities homeless alliance others that do have spent decades and endless amounts of time studying homeless populations and can tell you x number of veterans x number of mental illness x number of addiction x number of you know like we know that these folks are just they're just struggling like it, that's, just, that's just all there is to it they just they don't Literally, have the resources to get homes we choose to put all of our money into police departments instead of resources for people that are equitable like it makes absolutely no sense it it just this makes no sense bro when you think about like how the rate uh, that we were paid for our labor in the 70s versus what it is today, the fact that minimum wage hasn't been raised since, like, what, 2000? Yeah, late 90s, early 2000s. Late, yeah, like, people can't afford to live. Right. That's why homeless populations have skyrocketed. Then we, you know, we had the housing crisis and the whole recession in 2008, mm-hmm. and we're, prob- we're probably not far from that again right now yeah. so i mean like li- like literally this is another kicking this is another example of kicking a hurt dog while it's down like you could not be less humane and more cruel yeah yeah and i, I just i mean it, it's just it's so wild like that i don't know and what's crazy to me, too, from, like, the legislative perspective is there is this, like, class of Republicans that went into the legislature, you know, at the start of their careers as, like, you know, far right-wing fanatics, you know, pro-capitalism until it kills everyone, etc. <laughs> but then by the end, they were like, you know what, like, defunding DHS really doesn't work, or defunding our schools doesn't work, or, you know, pushing more money into this 
garbage systems we've built doesn't work, that we need to fund other things or we need to, tr you know, expand resources. And he's like learned somehow, like learned the opposite lesson. Like he's like yeah. he's like just quadrupled down on his like disgustingness. And these are the same people who don't want like rich people to pay their share of taxes and things like that that could actually end homelessness. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it, it, there's just so there's so many policy things you could do that would act, that would meaningfully decrease homelessness, meaningfully improve our communities, meaningfully help people that need it, and like this is like the complete opposite. Thanks for watching our video. Please give it a like and hit that subscribe button for more content. If you want to engage with us, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram.